The topic of this video is changing exponential statements to logarithmic statements and vice versa. Vice versa means the other way around. So another way that I might say this would be changing exponential statements to logarithmic statements and changing logarithmic statements to exponential statements. Okay, I've got two problems for us to look at here. The instructions for both say, rewrite the exponential equation in logarithmic form. And at the bottom of the screen here, I have something that we're going to refer to in multiple videos as the converter. The converter was something that was presented in a previous video, and it shows us the two different forms of the kinds of equations we'll be working with. On the right side, we have an equation that is in exponential form, so I'll call this the exponent side. And on the left side, we have an equation that's in logarithmic form, so we'll call this the log side. The entire line is referred to as the converter, and the converter is going to be referred to several points throughout this particular video series. I even have some things over here to the side that reference the converter. We'll see those later. Okay, let's get to solving the problems. So, we have to know our vocabulary. In a previous video, we talked about the vocabulary words that go with the different parts of an exponential equation. Let's just briefly review those. What is the four called? The base. What is the two called? The exponent. What is the 16 called? The argument. This is an exponential statement. It doesn't contain the word log. So we're gonna take this equation and put it in the exponent side of our converter. The base is four. The blue box is for the base. So the four goes in the blue box. The exponent is two, so that goes in the green trapezoid. And the argument is 16, so that goes in the red circle. Now, match up the colors and shapes. Whatever you put on one side, you have to put on the other. So, since there's a 4 in the blue box on the right, there must also be a 4 in the blue box on the left. Similarly, a 16 goes in the red circle, and a 2 goes in the green trapezoid. This gives us the answer to our problem. Log base 4 of 16 equals 2. I'd like you to notice that the converter has two horizontal lines. Those are the lines that you might see if you were writing on lined notebook paper, and they make clear that the word log and the argument are sitting on the line, but the base is a subscript. It's lowered. So when we write our logarithmic statements, we make sure to put the word log and the argument at the same line but the four is lowered. Okay, let's do our next problem. I'm going to erase the values that we put in our converter. And let's begin. Three to the x power equals 4.6. The base is three. The exponent is x. The argument is 4.6. Matching up the colors and shapes, on the left side, we would get log base three of 4.6 equals x. So we write our logarithmic statement. Log base 3 of 4.6 equals x. The log, the 4.6, and the x are sitting on the line. The 3 is below the line. These are the two answers for this particular problem.